Hey guys, what's up? This is Brett. Uh, this is the February 2014 edition of Planet Rotations. I'm going to be giving three mini reviews here of some new releases from 2014. Uh, first off, I want to talk about Marissa Nadler. This is her sixth album. It's out on the Sacred Bones label, home of Zola Jesus, who you guys have heard me talk about many times here on the channel. Um, and then in the UK, it's out on the Belly Union label. Uh, so Marissa is like a singer-songwriter, acoustic guitar. The vibe is similar to that of Hope Sandoval, the vocalist from Mazzy Star, her solo albums. Acoustic guitar, uh, really haunting backing vocals, just a really cool vibe. Uh, melodies are excellent from beginning to end, not a weak track on it. And uh, her guitar player on this one is the guy who played in Whiskey Town with Ryan Adams, and he's now in that band. Uh, Jesse Sykes and the Sweet Hereafter, and uh, I highly recommend this to you guys. Um, I bought it and immediately was into it. Like from track one, Drive is excellent, and uh, it closes with one of my favorite tracks in the album, Nothing in My Heart. But you also have Dead City Emily, Firecrackers, We Are Coming Back, Everything Not Mentioned, All Those Mentioned, they're all excellent tracks. So that's Marissa Nadler's July. Uh, next up, another band you've heard me talk about a lot on this channel. Uh, that's All India Radio. And uh, I have uh, one of their albums also um, featured back here in the background. So All India, India Radio, this is Fall Remixes. This just came out in 2014. And it's, uh, the band is a primarily instrumental uh, musical outfit from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, but this is a reimagined version of their 2007 album called Fall and it features a female vocalist. The vibe on this one is very chill. It almost has some trip hop elements, ambient, and if you guys dig Moby's music when he has a female vocals, more of the down tempo stuff, it's, it falls right in line with this, and I think if you like that, uh, and even stuff like Portishead, you're really gonna love this. Um, creates a cool, cool mood when you put this on, so if you wanna relax on the couch and hang out, put this one on. Um, it's, it's interesting to hear this band with a vocalist because it brings out a different element to the music and uh, the pressing is exquisite. It's also available as a deluxe two CD set. So I'm gonna have a link for this and everything that I show in this video today um, where you can order this one and you can order this one I think right off of their Bandcamp page. So that's All India Radio. And as a side note, uh, the guy behind All India Radio is, uh, sorry, is Martin, Martin Kennedy. And uh, I've talked about him before because not only does he do all India radio, but he also uh, collaborates with Steve Kilby from The Church. And this was last year's release, You Are Everything, which was uh, an honor me honorable mention on my Best of 2013 list. And uh, White Magic is another one with Steve. And then uh, Red Shadow Landing is another, um, another all India radio le release. And this one also is available on, on vinyl as well cool artwork on this one when you see it all laid out there. There's always a space element involved to uh, all India Radio's music, which makes sense because uh, music is pretty, uh, pretty spacey. So uh, moving on to my third item of discussion here. One of, uh, one of my favorite lyricists out there, Mark Kozlik. Uh He first came out back in 1992 with uh, his band Red House Painters. Uh, he's done albums under his own name, he's done albums as Sun Kill Moon, he's done multiple collaborations with various people, and this is his brand new one under the Sun Kill Moon name, and this is Benji. Uh, this is a deluxe two CD version. The second disc has uh, some live recordings on it. It has a fold out poster which acts as, on the opposite side, as the lyrics to the entire album. Uh, wow. What an album. This guy is so prolific. He puts out stuff constantly and they are all excellent. Um, if you remember, my favorite album of 2013 was Mark Kozilek and Jimmy Lavelle's Perils from the Sea. Exquisite. If you haven't gotten that yet, definitely do not hesitate any longer. Uh, Benji, this album. Uh, Mark is very narrative. He tells stories, stories about his life. Sometimes they're just regular mundane stories, but Somehow he has the magical gift of just hitting you hard with just these really simple storylines that just sound like he's just, you know, telling you what he went and did at the grocery store. But, for example, but he, uh, just his delivery and the way and, and the meaning behind it, the way he executes it and with the tamper of the music behind it, it just, it's like an emotional punch to the gut. 
Uh, the opening track, Carissa, is about his second cousin, dies in a freak accident where an aerosol can explodes in the uh, trash can. And it's about him dealing with uh, this tragedy and him uh, dealing with going back to Ohio for the funeral to um, revisit family and friends. And it's just, it's emotional. And then two songs later, there's a track called Truck Driver and it's about his uncle who freakishly died when he threw an aerosol can into a fire when he was burning his trash in the backyard. So there's, it's just nonstop tragedy in these songs. And granted, a lot of people out there will find this depressing and it's not probably everyday music. You know, if you're gonna have a party or you're probably gonna clear out the house if you put on a Sun Kill Moon album. But these are things that I listen to in great detail and, uh, and I relate to a lot of the songs. Um, the track, I watched the film, The Song Remains the Same, which is that, you know, Led Zeppelin movie. And he taught, you know, he always goes back. It's very nostalgic. He looks back on childhood. I relate a lot as a, as a, as a writer and a musician to him because of his attachment to where he grew up and how it just kind of had such a drastic effect. And when you're writing songs, a lot of times you reference back to those childhood memories and uh, kind of the sensory overload from those that time period and where you grew up, especially when you no longer live where you grew up. Uh, but in that song, I watched the film, The Song Remains the Same, he really talks about his depression. He also talks about how he was signed back in 1992, and he talks about uh, going to Santa Fe to visit the man who signed him, who he hasn't seen in 15 years ago, to, um, to thank him in person. And uh, that man obviously is Ivo Watts Russell from 4AD. If you watch my um, video where I re reviewed the book on 4AD, you know, I, I talked about him in, in length. But uh, it, it's interesting to hear those thoughts and his appreciation uh, for that man on his, on his subsequent, subsequent career. And lastly, there's one more track I want to talk about on this album. It's titled, I Can't Live Without My Mother's Love and uh, just an amazing line in there. It's so simple, but it's so intense and beautiful. And it goes, when the day comes for her to leave, I won't have the courage to go through her things. And um, just uh, where I'm at in my life and my girlfriend's mom had just recently passed away on uh, Christmas day of 2013. For those of you who want my, watch my channel, you may recall when, um, when I had to go to California at the end of the year, um, it was for that. and. Uh, to deal with that and to see my girlfriend going through that experience of having to go through her mother's things and, um, and, and still the process even to this day of just dealing with that is just it's heartbreaking and um, listening to that song and when this came out putting that on it was just such a heavy experience and uh, like I said Mark Kozlik just has that way of just getting under your skin and um, having really relatable lyrics to, um, I guess, life's journey, you know? And um, I can't recommend this enough. I have a strong feeling this may end up as my favorite album of 2014, but uh, we'll see about that. Uh, it's just a quick recap, guys. The three releases that I talked about, I'm gonna have links down below to my blog where you can you know, link up and purchase any of these. Marissa Nadler's July, All India Radio, Fall remixes and Sun Kill Moon's Benji. Highly recommend all three of these guys. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.